Have you ever been walking around in the kitchen after a doctor's appointment and you get a notification that your test results are back? So your heart starts beating a little faster, you pull up the records to check them and then BAM! Every other value is marked in red as abnormal. The worry sinks in and for the next 24 hours you stress about whether you're going into kidney failure or whether you're bleeding or whether you're anemic. But when your doctor looks at them, they're just like, eh, everything looks good. And you're like, what do you mean everything looks good? Didn't you see all that red there? Well, I'm gonna help you interpret one of the most common blood tests ordered by doctors, the CBC or complete blood count. And I'll tell you why those red readings, they don't always mean panic or worry. Thanks so much for watching today. I'm Dr. Blake Schusterman, a board certified kidney doctor and the cooking doctor. Remember, everything we talk about here today is just information. This is not medical advice. If you're going to the doctor for a checkup or you're feeling tired and run down or if you have kidney disease, the CBC is probably something that your doctor is going to order. So if you've gotten a CBC done recently, pull up your labs and follow along. Here's an example too I'll show you as we'll be going through it together. The most important thing to keep in mind as we go through this though is that just because something shows up in red or abnormal, this doesn't necessarily mean it's anything to worry about. I mean, sure, it could mean problems, and that's why we do the tests, and that's why doctors assess them, but we have a range of values that are considered normal. So even if you're a little above or below the normal range, your doctor or me, if I'm your doctor, we can evaluate whether you're just a little bit extra or different. Anybody ever told you that before? And decide if we need to just keep an eye on those lab results or if you need further testing. The first value that usually comes up is called WBC, which stands for white blood cell count. These are your infection fighting cells. Want to fight off a virus or a bacteria? You're going to need these cells. A normal value is generally anywhere between 4 and 12, and there are a few common things that can make this go higher or lower. If you're fighting off some kind of sickness or if you're taking some kind of oral medication like a steroid, those cells have a tendency to increase some in the blood. That's the most common reason these cells will be a little bit high, though a lot of other things can do it. If your white blood cell count is low, on the other hand, this means that you may have a harder time fighting off infection. And remember that the high or low readings need to be interpreted by a doctor because they may not mean anything. Now your doctor, once they have this CBC back, may order a special type of CBC called a CBC with auto differential or auto diff. There are actually a whole lot of different white blood cells that have different functions in the immune system, and an autodifferential just separates out how many of each of those types of blood cells that you have. Neutrophils, eosinophils, basophils, that kind of thing. The next value that will show up on the CBC is your RBC, or red blood cell count. Pretty self-explanatory, right? These are the cells in your blood that are red. Ta-da! This is the component of blood that we typically think of when we say blood. It's red. The normal range for this is about four and a half to six for men and four to five for women. Now what doctors really pay attention to when they are looking at the red component of your blood is the hemoglobin or hematocrit. This often shows up in the CBC as HGB. That's hemoglobin. Hemoglobin is the component of your blood cells that carries oxygen to all your organs, and your organs need oxygen to function. So when this number is low, you may be diagnosed with anemia, and that's when you may feel weak or tired. Now there are many things that can cause anemia, and then we often get a whole nother set of labs to try to figure out what's causing it. And let me know in the comments if you'd like me to make a separate video about the labs we typically check to find out what is causing the anemia, Things like iron studies or B12 and folate. And if you have kidney disease, I know a lot of people watching this have kidney disease, you may have a low hemoglobin because your kidneys aren't producing a hormone called erythropoietin. And erythropoietin tells the bones to make red blood cells. So if you have a low hemoglobin and you have kidney disease, ask your doctor what the next step should be. They may be able to help you raise up your blood count some. The next thing I'm gonna jump into is the MC. B. This stands for mean corpuscular volume and is essentially just a measure of how big or small your red blood cells are. Doctors will look at this if your hemoglobin is low because it gives a clue as to what could be causing the anemia. And this is super secret doctor stuff here. Anything outside of the normal range means your red blood cells are not the typical size as normal red blood cells. And big red blood cells can happen with vitamin or mineral deficiencies 
or from alcohol or from lots of other things. On the other hand, small red blood cells with a low MCV is usually due to iron deficiency. And if you have iron deficiency, your doctor may want to work it up further. And the next step would be to order a set of labs called iron studies, which include things like ferritin and transferrin. And if your iron levels are low and you're anemic, you may feel weak and tired. And you may need an evaluation to figure out if you're bleeding or why those blood cells are small and where you're losing blood from and whether or not you need to take an iron supplement. Now, along this way in the CBC, there are a couple values I'm not gonna really talk about much, and those are the hematocrit, the MCHC, and the RDW. These are essentially all different ways to measure the amount of hemoglobin you have, and most doctors, I mean, I don't really look at those things, and unless you're diagnosing anemia or you're a hematologist, a lot of doctors don't pay attention to those values, or at least I don't. The last big thing I'm going to talk about is platelets. Platelets are very important cells that help form clots and prevent bleeding. A normal value for platelets is 150 to 450. And having too little platelets may put you at risk for bleeding. And having too many may put you at risk for forming clots. So platelets are a very important part of that CBC. Okay, so that's all I have for you for the CBC. The most important thing to remember is that abnormal lab values should be interpreted by your doctor and that we don't always get concerned about the things that show up in red on your test results. On the other hand, if you see something red and you have questions about it, bring it up next time when you see your doctor, but you may be worrying over a nothing burger. If you like this video and want me to do more videos on interpreting common labs, give it a thumbs up, give me a comment, like, subscribe, and share. Thanks so much for watching today. I'm Dr. Blake Schusterman, a board certified kidney doctor and the cooking doc. Make sure you check out my website, cookingdoc.com. Check out my book, The Cooking Docs, Kidney Healthy Cooking, a modern 10-step guide to preventing and managing kidney disease. And I will see you next time. Mm -hmm.